The dedicated accessories kit for EROB rotary actuators contains the communication cables, interface terminals, and etc. Here is the accessories kit list for different EROB models. Contact us or visit the official website for purchase. First, let us introduce the use of each accessory. Here is EtherCAT multi-turn accessories kit. 2-pin single-head terminal wire for connecting the multi-turn battery interface. 3-pin single-head terminal wire for connecting the CAN interface. 4-pin single-head terminal wire for connecting the EtherCAT interface. Street soldering or side soldering type mail connector for 48 volt power interface direct connection and corner connection. Cable wire bracket and nylon cable tie for cable binding and fixing. Plug retainer and M1.6 cross recessed pan head screw for fastening after installation of street soldering type mail connector. 3.6 volt multi turn battery for multi turn counting function power supply. Only the multi turn EROB is equipped with the multi turn battery. Disposable gloves. EROB rotary actuator key information manual. Actuator final quality control report. Certificate. Second, let us introduce the wiring of mail connector, USB can debugger and RJ45 connector. Step 1, the wiring of mail connectors. There are two types of solder bond connectors, street soldering type mail connector and side soldering type mail connector. Please select the suitable type according to demands. Prepare the red and black power cores of the required length and use a wire stripper to peel off the sheets about half a centimeter. Connect it to the terminal post and solder it with tin. Pay attention to distinguish the positive and the negative poles. After the soldering is completed, the street soldering type mail connector needs to be covered with the heat shrink tubing for insulation. The side soldering type mail connector needs to be covered with the matching protective cap. Step 2. The wiring of USB CAN debugger. Prepare a USB CAN debugger. Connect the 3-pin single-head terminal wire to the interface. Connect CAN L to L. Connect CAN ground to G. Connect CAN H to H. Step 3. The wiring of RJ45 connector. Prepare a RJ45 connector. Connect the 4-pin single-head terminal wire according to the wiring definitions. Connect the blue wire to RX negative pin. Connect the yellow wire to RX positive pin. Connect the black wire to TX negative pin. Connect the red wire to TX positive pin. Third, let us introduce the cable connection of multiple rotary actuators. Step 1. The cable connection of multiple rotary actuators can adopt cascade connection mode. That is, connect the RJ45 interface of the master controller to the ECAT in interface of the first EROB sleeve 1 and connect the ECAT out interface to the ECAT in interface of the next EROB, and so on. Step 2. Connect the CAN wire according to the interface definitions. The CAN interfaces of the two adjacent EROB can be connected in random. Connect the 3-pin single-head terminal wire to the CAN interface of the first EROB and connect the CAN interface of the first EROB to the CAN interface of the next EROB. Step 3. Connect the 3.6-volt multi-turn battery to the battery interface. Step 4. Connect the 12-pin I.O. single-head terminal wire to the I.O. interface. Please refer to section 6.6 .6 in EROB Rotary Actuator User Manual for the I.O. interface pin definitions. Step 5. Connect the connectors to the female power terminals. To avoid the loose power terminals and the poor connection caused by vibration, pulling, and other factors when operating, it needs to install a plug retainer and fasten it with M1.6 cross-recessed pan head screws after connecting the street soldering type male connectors to the female power terminals. Step 6. Install the cable wire bracket. Use a torque screwdriver to dismantle to M3 hex socket button head cap screws of the rear lid and install the cable wire bracket. Then use a torque screwdriver with 1.2 newton meter to tighten the two M3 hex socket button head cap screws. Step 7. Tidy up the wires and the 3.6 volt multi-turn battery. Use the nylon tie cable to bind the wires and the battery on the cable wire bracket, thereby avoiding the loose wires and poor connection caused by vibration, pulling, and other factors when operating. Cut off the excess cable TIs to keep the wires clear and tidy. So far, the demonstration of how to use a rough accessories kit has been completed.